Hello everyone, my name is Javier Gomez, member of the UDS technical team and in this video we're going to see how to configure an RDS server to give uh, users Windows applications. So the minimum requirements for the video are going to be to have a Windows, Windows server 2012 or 2 or higher, you can see in this case as a 2019, this machine will have to be in a domain as you can see right here the machine will have to have a static IP so the first thing that we're going to do will be to install the RDA service so we go here on manage on the top right corner we'll click and add roles and features okay so once we're here we'll click on next and we will click the remote desktop service installation. Here we'll click a standard deployment. We'll click on next. And we will check the session based desktop deployment. And we'll click on next again. As you can see, we need to tell it the remote connection broker that's going to be used, the remote desktop web access and the session host. So let's click. Okay. So in our case, we will always choose our server. So let's click our server. Let's click on next for the web access. We do not need to install the web access, but we only need to check our server and we'll click on next. For the session host servers, the same, we'll click our own server and we will click on next. Okay, so in the confirmation tab, we will click the restart if it needs to restart. And we will click on deploy and wait for it to deploy. It will start installing our data services. Now we just have to wait for it to finish. Once we have it all three succeeded, we can click and close. Okay, great. So let's start configuring it. Let's go to our remote desktop service here in the left. And we will start creating a new collection. We'll click here and create session collection. Click on next. We'll put uh, a name. In my case, we'll put DDS. The host server in our case, of course, is going to be our own server. So we'll click on next. The users, we're going to leave the domain users. This will be the users that can access this collection. We recommend that to access the domain users. And uh, yeah, let UDS be the one who filters these users. Click next. And the users profile, we will, will not check it. We do not want uh, every user to have his own profile. So we'll click on next and we will create. Okay, we'll start creating the collection. So we'll just have to wait for it to finish. Very fast, we'll click and close. Okay, so as you can see, we already have it right here, UDS. Now we have to publish our UDS actor or the RDS actor in this case. So we'll go to our browser. We will get inside our server. As you know, you can put the IP or the DNS name, whatever you have. We will access with an administrator user, in my case UDS admin. Here we go inside. Okay. Here we go top right corner. We'll click on download. And okay, here we can see our actors. In our case, we want the RDS actor set up. So let's click it so the load can start and we'll install it. It should be fast. Okay, here we go. We'll click on next. 
I'll save the license, I agree. The path where we want the UDS actor to be installed. In my case, we're going to leave it by default. And we'll click install. Okay. So once it's finished, we'll click on next and we'll tell it to run it once we finish the setup. So let's finish and it should start on its own. Here we go. So as you can see, the first thing that need to do you need to put is the IP or DNS name of the UDA server. In my case the 50, the authenticator that we're going to use. In our case, we will use an internal database and inside there we have an administrative user. Okay, so let's click in here username UDS. Here we go. And the password. And the last thing we'll click on register UDS. It will register. Okay. Let's test the configuration. And then it all seems to be correct. So we can already close it. We already have our UDS actor installed in our server. The next step that we have to do will be to publish this actor. So we'll go here in Remote App Programs, Publish Remote App Programs. Let's publish it. Okay, so now here we will have to find our UDS actor. In the case that it's not here, we'll have to add it manually. So we'll go into Program Files. RDS actor, as you can see right there and RDS actor. So we'll click on it and we'll click on open. Once we have it right there, we'll click on next. We'll see that that's up RDS, so we'll click on publish. Now we'll wait until it's published. Very fast, so you can see, we can click on close already. Okay, so once we have our RDS actor published, Let's edit its properties, right click, edit properties, and some parameters that we want to tell him is we do not want it to be in the RDS access web. We don't want it to be shown, so click on no. And in the parameters, we will allow any command line parameters. So here the middle option. Great. In the user assignment, we'll tell him all groups and users can access this collection. ODS, UDS will be the one to filter and the file type association we will leave it by default. So we'll click on apply and we'll click on OK to again. And great. Once this is finished, we'll have to edit the properties of the collection. So here on the top, edit properties. General you know, thing the same, nothing changes. User groups we will leave it as it goes. And in the session, we will tell him when when a disconnected session end. So here we can tell him, for example, in my case, one minute so that that license that we have, the RDS license, can be freed for another user. And the security part. Leave it by default. The load balancing, we're going to leave it by default. In the uh, configure client settings, we want everything to be shared, and it will be UDS, the one who you will tell this configuration. The user profile list, we will leave it. We will not check it, and we will click on when we finish. Uh, you do not have to put the session part. This is only for, for our example, but we think this is the correct way. If you want to have five minutes or 10 minutes, of course, it's your choice. Let's click on apply. Then we'll click on okay when we finish, great. So now we will have our RDA server totally configured and our user will access the applications. The application will be compatible with UDS. 
If you can access with RDS with it, you could publish it. I hope this video helps you and thank you very much. Bye.